or he's an heir or so on. Yes. That's it. Then, then, then you have to wait. Long. Yes, but, uh, so what should, what should be done? If you come here, what should be done with, the, with, that, with those rules? Well, I'd like to uh, um, tell you my favorite uh, Supreme Court case. It, um, it was, um, the case was ready in the Supreme Court, and uh, the question was uh, the delay in the filing of the petition for review. And it was uh, revealed to the Supreme Court that the reason why there was a delay in the filing of that uh, pleading, which caused the dismissal of the case, was because the wife of the uh, lawyer had passed away. And that Supreme Court case is kind of relatively old. The Supreme Court devoted, I think, about 10 or 20 pages talking about how it is to lose a loved one and uh, what uh, tragedy it was that probably was really a good reason for the lawyer to have uh, missed filing the pleading on time. But then in the end, the court said th the case is dismissed. Yeah. To me, it's a good way of showing how justice should be done, how the rule should be applied. Um, you, you can't uh, really be uh, solving all these problems about delay and uh, congestion if you do not apply um, fairly standard or uniform uh, rule that if uh, you, you know, appeal is not uh, right, that if you miss uh, filing the pleading within the prescribed time, then there's no choice but to dismiss it. The problem sometimes is uh, petitions uh, are evaluated differently by uh, judges, from one judge to another, from one division of civil court to another, so that the result is not uniform all the time. So sometimes there were times that it was very strict and would dismiss all petitions which do not even file legibly clear copies of the attachments. Then there was a time when uh, anybody who, um, well, there was even a time that uh, certifications or verifications signed by lawyers <laughs> rejected and caused the dismissal of petitions. Those are really good rules because they would uh, decongest uh, uh, the docket of the court, especially the Supreme Court, but I, I suppose that in the implementation, it should not vary from division to division or justice to justice, judge to judge. It should really be uh, equally applied. And if it, even if it's harsh, as in the case of the lawyer whose wife died and was not able to file the pleading on time, I think whatever uh, is uh, provided for should be applied. Yeah. Whatever it is, uh, or a test, you know. of course, uh, you're qualified to be the Chief Justice. Whatever it Thank is, you. I will request Attorney Roli Bindowan to recommend you to become a member of the Mother Committee. Yes, yeah. for the revision of the rules, rules. yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I think you um, on the, already on special proceedings because that's, I yeah, think, yeah, has I not Yeah, I think so. Now, my, my last yes. question, no? you may or you may not answer my last question. Is there an advantage of an unmarried woman chief justice over that of a married woman chief justice? <laughs> uh, no, Your Honor. I think it's the same as uh, what um, we follow in ACTA. You just have to be prepared for your cases. In your case, if you're the judge, then you have to read all the uh, documents and go through all the uh, evidence uh, presented. But but you will have more time. Yes, I <laughs> believe so. <yeah. laughs> and that, no, thank you, thank you, uh, thank Chairperson Herbosa. Thank you very much thank for coming.